All right. The fourth business review has been scheduled. Today is May 17th. It is scheduled for Sunday, May 19th. And this is recapping May 6th to May 12th week. So the week happens. And then that entire following week, we are preparing this business review to recap what happened and deliver you uh, something valuable, um, whether it's about the RCF program itself or just in general, if anything has to do with finding cleaners or clients, we're going to bring that to you in an email once a week and, and share everything we possibly know um, right here. So going through this, um, on the top, we usually have like our, our five featured stories. So our main feature is at the top with this black background. Um, and this is, um, we're, we're introing the, the RCF's sales mentor. Uh, it is uh, Chris Wilson, him and his wife, Macy Wilson, run Gem City Cleaning Crew in Dayton, Ohio. And RCF Dayton happens to be the RCF's 2023 member of the year. So if you are, well, if you're not on the email newsletter, reach out here, drop a comment below, leave your email below. We can add you to this list. That way you'll get these links and you'll be able to go over there and um, read the full story on Chris and Gem City and RCF Dayton. You can also check it out at the rcf.com forward slash learning. It's one of the blogs there, so it's not like it's hidden. Um, next, we uh, dish out 12 uh, your, your next 12 months email marketing plan. So 52 email ideas that you can send out once per week um, to your email list. Just keep it fresh and keep people or stay top of mind with, with people who are not your clients, but also people who are your clients. Just staying in touch with them like that helps build really strong relationships that, that end up resulting in very loyal clients. Um, so we give you 52 ideas. You get that link there. Uh, we also published a piece on how, you know, if you're in the RCF and you have a positive ACQ score, you are going to get about 228 leads every 90 days. Um, as a reminder, no one in the RCF pays any management fees or recurring expenses, software expenses or anything like that. They only pay when they find a new recurring client in here. And, and that recurring client is a high quality acquisition at that as well. So the higher the ACQ, that means you're better at winning clients than others. Not that your ACQ pulls down on someone else's score, but if your ACQ is higher, you're better than they are at winning clients. If you are better at winning clients, we are going to we are going to invest more in your market area. We're going to put more dollars there. We will get you more leads because we know that you take care of them. Uh, also, if you have purchased the docs or the documents lifetime license, if you came here and purchased this for, I think it's $100, um, it's the entire library. I think there's like 12 documents in there right now, and you'll get everything we add to the future or add to it in the future, I should say. Um, so yes, it's $100 here. Uh, you can get that lifetime license, but I mentioned this because if you have, if you're one of those people who has purchased it. Uh, you automatically just got access to the residential cleaning checklist. Um, and that's, you can find that in uh, at university.thercf.com. And that will be under documents here. If you click documents, you come over to client relations and it's at the bottom right now under residential cleaning checklist. We've got the Canva link. Uh, this is just an image. If you click this image, it also takes you to the Canva link and that's where you can edit it and then save it as your own. Um, or if you want to download the PDF, you click this little green button right here and it's got the PDF file there and you can print and use it as is. Uh, so if you have that lifetime license, you uh, just got access to that. I think it was yesterday, actually. Um, finally, marketing a cleaning company, marketing, any type of company. There's defensive ways and offensive ways. We dive into which is what, what is what, with regards to defensive marketing and offensive marketing. Um, the only industry I feel is worse than cleaning in regards to this is the real estate agents. Maybe, maybe loan officers, 
but I kind of grouped them into one, but I would say cleaning is next. When you approach a cleaning company and say, you know, look, I, I can get you lead. Like if you have a good sales team and you're already closing leads, I can get you more. Um, that's a really bad example because a, per, a, a, a person that has a sales team understands offensive marketing. A better example would be if someone is just starting out, maybe they got, they've got some uh, funding that they're ready to, they're ready to grow, but they're very small yet. And they don't really know what to, what to do with uh, the funds say, all right, spend some money. You can get some clients that way. You open up PPC, you open up or not PPC, sorry, Facebook ads, Facebook ads, you put, you build an ad and you send it out to your market area, Google PPC, Google search. You have to wait until they search for you. Otherwise, no one knows it's there. That is why I prefer Facebook ads. Um, it's not that I don't do Google PPC. I absolutely certainly do it with great success. We have PPC campaigns, but Facebook ads, because you can force your ad in front of someone's eyes. If you do it enough and you do it long enough, they're going to eventually start searching for you on Google. And when that happens, it piles onto the folks who are who were already searching for you anyway. So that is how we blend our offensive and defensive approach at like a really high level. Going back to what I was saying, the only the industry that's worse is real estate when it comes to saying you'll hear you'll hear the business owners say, oh, well, I only get clients from referrals or, oh, I close 80% of my leads. Those honestly are, are like major red flags for anyone who has any, wants to, wants anything to do with growth. If you're mid to later stages of your company and you're happy with life and you're, you've built what you've wanted, that is your only way out in surviving on referral based business. Because if you have any inkling where you want to grow or you you're not where you want to be and you are unwilling to spend money into the growth of your company and you say I'm only referral based, you're you're playing defense. It's very it's such a scarcity mindset that that limits you in every other area of your business. One day you'll notice it. Lord willing, you will. Um, it is so important to go on the offensive. Your offensive marketing strategies will feed the defensive strategies. So I go back to it. If I'm if I'm putting out, so like cold calling, uh, direct mail, Facebook ads, uh, these are all things that you you actively you push out in front of someone. Google PPC, Microsoft PPC. Um, just having your website online, just the internet, you have to wait for someone to do an action first, a referral, affiliate marketing. You have to wait for someone else to do something. Whereas I know with Facebook ads that I can go in any market area in the US and I most likely will get house cleaning leads for $30 or less. Well, I'm going to look right now. Um, is this the best way to do it? Yeah, we'll include Mount Airy. Okay, so in, in these, I'm averaging 8.45, $8, $9 a lead anyway. Um, but I know that if we achieve $30 a lead and you only close, you know, eight to 10% of your leads, the RCF is still very successful, or it is successful. I don't want to say very because that's subjective. Uh, it is still or it's still successful. So when you team up with the RCF, when you become a member, we're employing all these offensive tactics to get out there and, and, and put your brand in front of your market. We will use those defensive measures as well. But once we start going on the offensive, I would say six to eight months into that, you're going to notice your organic leads start to build. You're going to notice that more people are finding you through your website because even though we are throwing that ad in front of them, there are many ways people become a lead. What I hope that they do is they click that ad, they visit the website and they fill out the form on that same website on that asset that we build for that member. 
because that way we can track it and we can charge a finder's fee. Well, what happens is that I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some numbers in front of you. Let's go find how many people have seen the RCF Dayton branding in the last 90 days. Forty three, forty two thousand people have seen it one hundred and twenty eight thousand times. So they've seen this ad like on average, each pe person has seen Gem City branding only three times. Some people would sound the alarms on this and think that's a lot. But the rule of thumb in marketing is that a person is not going to remember you. They won't even know you exist until they have been exposed to your branding seven or eight times, maybe even more. So I am going to, until this number is like 10 or 15, I will keep that same ad there and burn it into the brains of people, the people of Dayton. This ad, it is so ugly, but they see Gem City Cleaning Crew. What happens after six, seven, eight, nine months? People are seeing this ad every day, but there's, you know, 20 some thousand people who have seen it and we've generated, you know, 150 leads. How many people are seeing it, but not click or like not clicking or not filling out the form? A large number of those people are going to go to Google right when they need the cleaning service. They're going to go to Google. They're going to search Gem City Cleaning Crew and Gem City's website is going to come up, not my asset, right? So Gem City Cleaning Crew has their own website, but we have our own. The RCF builds like a duplicate, a clone of our, our members so that there's two that are always kind of jockeying for position in, in the search engines. But we also use that because we can have full control over it. We can track everything that comes through it, all that good stuff. But if they see this ad, the, the, from the funding that the RCF is spending, that is investing, and they go to Google, type in Gem City Cleaning Crew and go to Gem City's own website, we don't get credit for that. Because if they go through the website, now Chris, they've got that in their CRM, but if we generate that lead, but they can prove it was in their CRM first, we won't get credit for that. We will just give that lead to the member. We're not gonna worry about that. So to say someone's doing Facebook leads is, it's an open book because we are going on the offensive, but it's going to feed your defensive marketing as well. So if you have affiliate programs, if you've got referral programs, if you've got you know your Google ads set up, if your, your website is already ranking number one and we run Facebook ads for you for six, seven, eight, nine months, you are going to notice those searches start to increase because now 20 and 30,000 people have been seeing you every single day for how long? Once people start to see your branding, I honestly, I truthfully don't know what it is about a human brain. But once we are exposed to branding enough, we start to trust the brand. McDonald's is a great way, a great example of this. Like, why do we trust McDonald's? Their food kills us. I like a good McChicken and their fries are incredible. A Big Mac is delicious. That, oh my God, I see, I love McDonald's. The chicken nuggets are, are delicious as well. Why do I trust them in that way when I also fully agree that if I eat their food enough, it's very, very, very bad for my body. So now imagine if you're a cleaning company with a really good service and a bomb customer support team. and you have your community start to trust you, you go forward with total confidence. If you had a product like McDonald's, you're probably not gonna feel very good about people trusting you in this way or employing this manner. But we are basically brute forcing our way into the market and saying, hey, Dayton, here's Gem City Cleaning Crew. This is who you need to go to. And so we are doing that all over the country, or we will begin to. We tried to, we've tried to with uh, quite a few members already, but. We're only at like eight right here, seven members. We've gotten up to like 20 before. So 
I think the cream of the crop are with us um, right now. But that's defense versus offensive marketing. If you want to read the, the blog, the article, I should say, hop on the newsletter. You'll get this link as it comes out or go to brcf.com forward slash learning. And you'll see that post there. It is the hyphen rcf.com, not just all one. Um, then we've also got Las Vegas for our member of the week. Uh, the write-up will be on the website uh, shortly as well, but they jumped to 1126 ACQ from 860, 866. A 30-point jump, 260 points worth a 99 on the MOTW score. So we take this MOTW score, which is a 70 to 30 weight based on percentage growth of ACQ and ACQ points, and then we blend it together um, and get the MOTW. The reason for that is, so Dayton, for example, is they're at like, they're at like 1700 ACQ. But if we have a new member who's at 100 and they go to 200, they're going to have a 50% growth, right? But it was only 100 points worth. It was only 100 ACQ points. But if Dayton goes from 1700 to 2500, that's not 50% growth, that's less, but it is like six or seven times more in terms of ACQ points. So we needed a way to reward both. So if you are um, newly ACQ positive, you have a good chance of becoming member of the week. But if you're already at the top and you have a bomb week and you crush it, you are also going to get member of the week. So for like Dayton to be have a 50% gain, they're going to go from 1700 to 3400. That's like that would be unheard of in, in a matter of a week. Um, not impossible, but kind of improbable. Um, so that's why we weighed it there. That's how we come up with the MOTW score. You see the, the, the past um, winners here, um, historical, at least this year. We started it only first week of 2020, 2024, January 2024. Um, just over halfway through quarter two of 2024. And these are our, uh, this is our metal ranking standings. Um, Custom Maids Bay City can collect these points and collect the medals, but they do not accumulate those points at the end of the year. For member of the year, that only goes to legitimate RCF members. Um, finally, here's our top 10, but it is um, a little bit different. Ozarks, South Houston are um, no longer with us. Ozarks was expelled and South Houston resigned. Um, so this top 10, it's going to be a top eight next week. But we have many more positive ACQs than we used to. We've got our category awards, most estimates delivered, most won, best conversion rate, um, best ops to estimates ratio, estimates to one, best effort, and then our bit on ACQ insight um, volume. 43 XL II. Um, so yeah, that's our business review for week of May 6th to May 12th. It is May 17th. So this is like kind of recapping a little bit behind, but everything um, in real time you can find on the rcf.com or to the YouTube channel or here on social media. We will kind of just dish about these things and send these clips out and then point back to the RCF. So um, that's kind of how we, we send all this stuff out and, and see how it goes. So thanks for sticking with us here on uh, the fourth business review. Hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.